Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Now I am slowly making my way up the road from the windmill all the way down here. Now we get 576 euros per tonne for our wheat down there and up here in agricultural market we get 360 euros per tonne. Now, although the 576 is good, it's an extra 216 euros per ton, so almost an extra 1,000 euros per trailer full, I'm still going to take the rest of the wheat right um, to, to the market there because it's right next door and it's going to save us an awful lot of money if we can do it like that. Although, maybe we could buy that field there and we could harvest that instead because that is like um that's 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 the lu lu lupine is it lupine loop uh lupine i think it's pronounced lupine but anyway that is ready for harvest that's 1.25 hectares and it's fairly close to the to the um to the mill up there and not only that it's um how much how much is it five uh, 756 it's the uh, peas are actually the best one Peas is what we want. We want to get some peas. But there are no peas nearby. So we got that. So it's, yes, that field there. That's close enough that we could sell and we could make a decent bit of money. So, yeah, the rest of the wheat we're going to sell right here at this one. It is cheaper, but it's going to save us so much time that I think really it's our only sensible option. It's just going to take forever to lug this stuff all the way down to that mill. And I really don't want to have to do that. Um, yes, it, it is good that we can get that extra money. And we're probably going to be losing out nearly 10 grand over this, so, you know, 10 trailer loads. But I still think it is a sacrifice that I am willing to make so that I can hurry up and then get going with the bailing and do all of that stuff as well. So, yeah, that, that is the plan for today. So we're going to get race back over to the field over here and then we can carry on with our combining. And then we'll be able to get the baler up here, we'll be able to do some baling, and then hopefully we'll soon be in a position to buy our faster tractor. There is another thing that I should let you know, is that today uh, when I loaded up the game, there was an update. There was a glorious, wonderful update to the game, and according to patch notes, they have removed the icon over the chests, you know, the treasure chests that were turning up in the world, and apparently the treasure chests now actually have treasure in them which is wonderful. It is absolutely awesome. Now, we're going to do once more around this field before we start doing the land work. So I would estimate that I need to be up over here somewhere so that we're in the right place for that combine to empty out. Um, yeah, the treasure chests now have stuff in them. So if we've got stuff in the treasure chest, that is going to mean that we'll be able to um, hopefully find some and empty them. Although we, we did find two, but they've now um, they've changed them. So we don't know where the treasure chests are anymore. Is that now gotten dirty? Is that tractor now gotten dirty? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got dirt on it. More than he had before. I don't know. Right, uh, I just noticed that we've got a field up over here. Let's let's go and take a look at this field a minute. Um, let me just... We want to run through here. So we've got corn here. And this one is going to be 19... Well, 9,000 plus 20,000 social points. Which, you know, is great and all. I can't see now. I'm blind! Help me! No! Oh, there we go. It's okay. It's okay. Panic over. Don't worry, folks. It's okay. Oh, that's the field that I'm after. It's the one straight through here. You can see it in the distance. There it is. Come on. Breakthrough. There we go. And what is this here? This looks like lupine again. This is lupine. Yes, it's 1.2 hectares and is ready for harvest. So how much is uh, this field here? Is 9,000. That's not bad, actually. Maybe we should buy this field. We've got the wheat field up there. Maybe we should buy that one as our next field. So it's that one's all the way up there. Uh, no, it's not. It's this one up here. So we, there's a little field right there. And there's this one here, 1 1.2 hectare. So we, we don't have that one. That one's in wheat. The one we're in is in wheat as well. I want to go into the old harvester over here. And so, yeah, um, maybe we ought to consider buying that field over there. We, we'll see after we've done this harvest. I'm just trying to remember what the controls are. You know, it would help if I just looked up in the top right uh, left hand corner there see i've got um why isn't it not actually oh i need to hitch the header back on that's why so then i can do header on off and then r to lower it down and then t to start driving so we're going to do once more around the field now i've got six percent in here we got to remember that we only want to put three tankfuls into the trailer because the fourth one overfills the trailer uh, by quite a long margin and you lose all of the crop that you overfill the trailer by 
which we found out much to our dismay last time. So, um, yeah, we, we, we'll keep that in mind for future reference. Let's come on around here. Oh, no, I want to press T. There we go. We're up to 50%, so I kind of miscalculated a little bit with our tractor over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to this corner, and I'm going to come out on the corner like this, and uh, discharge pipe is going to come out. We're going to unload into the trailer before we go off round to do the rest of this field. So we come back a little bit. There we go. Stop right there. And then F. Dump into the trailer. And there is 680 kilos of wheat in there already. And now if I... Oop, steady, steady. I want to press that. That's the one I want to press. And then T. And we're away again. So we come down here. Now we've got to remember that when we come down this hill, it does say that we're going too fast. That is just because the combine does overrun a little bit as you go down the hill. I'm wondering if I should get one of the corn fields. Now we don't one of the maize fields. We don't have any maize at the moment. We got we've got no maize at all. We haven't done any. We do have the header for maize, but is whether or not we should buy one of the fields and harvest some. The only see, I am very conscious of the fact that whatever fields we buy, we've then got to go and plow them and. That's the bit that I'm a little bit concerned about because the ploughing job was extremely tedious and we've only got that tiny little plough. It's going to take us ages to do that. So I'm kind of, I am a little bit cautious about doing too, committing ourselves too much before we get a bigger tractor and a bigger plough. I'm hoping that a bigger plough will take care of this issue for us and we won't have to worry about it or at least not worry about it very much. Right, what have we got? We've got 66%. Just bringing it on up here because we're going to start doing straight lines up and down this side of the field up here. So I think I'm going to want the tractor and trailer up at the top end ready for emptying. Yes, I think I will. We're on 78%. We're on 80%. I don't even know if we're going to get all the way up across the field before we have to empty out. But that will be, well, it's one and a half loads. So we may actually be all right with um, doing three full loads into the trailer. Now, there we go, 95 96, 97, 98, and 99, and let's just stop right there. Go on, let's go a little bit further. It does, I don't like the way that it slides. I really don't like the way that it slides. So there's not a lot that we can do about that. Um, map, let's zoom in on here a little bit, and I want to go to the Jack Bear. Where is it? The zoom in. Oh, no, the Jack Bear is up there. That, that would help. Look at the way. Look at it sliding. This is bad. Hopefully that will be something that will be addressed at some point soon. It would be very good if they could address that because, um, yeah, like 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 I've mentioned, I, I, well, have I mentioned it that I don't really like that they slide they slide around? Okay, maybe I have. Um, there is another thing that they've added into the game now is that you can go to the town square in the main town and there are loads of people there. There's a new type of quest, a delivery quest. You can go and get stuff from them and you can go and deliver it across the map. Which I think sounds really, really cool. So we will definitely be trying that out at some point very soon. We just jump off of there and then we can come into here and enter this harvester. Press F and that should... We might have to come back a little bit. You are seriously hungry. Right, let's put that in there. We've got everything on board. So we have 44% in that trailer. Close that one down. Let's just press tab a minute and see what we got. So we have food 25... The fish are 15 or 12. Let's, let's go with that one. We'll eat that fish. And then we will eat that fish right there for 20. And then we'll have a couple of eggs. We do like our eggs. There we go. 100. We can call the tow truck as well. I have been told by Nigel, I think he was, he's called. Um, is, is your name Nigel? I'm sure it's Nigel. I, I want to say Nigel, but now that I'm saying it, I'm, I'm not actually sure if it's right or not. But anyway... Um, I have been told that uh, this this um, any machine can get stuck. If you go in the field when it rains, apparently you can get stuck. And then you've got to call the tow truck to come and free you up. And and, and basically this advice was given with, um, don't drive in the field when it rains or you will have to get the tow truck to come along and free you up. Therefore, naturally, the only thing that I want to do in this game right now is have it rain so that I can drive in the field. And find out for myself whether or not this is true. I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like with my tractor getting stuck. There are two things that I want to see. Number one is how to get my tractor stuck and how to free it out. But then I also want to see if I can get the tractor stuck thoroughly when it's raining and then come back to it when the rain has stopped the following day and drive it out. Whether or not it's possible to get the machine out of the mud 
at all in any way. Or if we literally, once it's stuck, it's stuck. That's it. Game over. You've got to go and call somebody up. So you've got to get on the blower to your great uncle Fred and say, Oi, Fred, would you be a, be, be, be a legend? Will you be, be an epic ledge and bring your, your, your truck up? Because we, we, we got issues here, mate. we got issues. We, we need you to drag us out. Um... Right, what are we on? Uh, wheat, oh, it's 65%. Oh, it was 90% for a minute. Nope, 65%. So we come on up through here. We may, we may just be able to get to the end of the field. It looks like it's just going to be once up and down for a complete load. There we go. We've got 87, 88, 89. It's getting closer. No, nope, we're not. It's, I think it is actually almost exactly once up and down for the full load. There we go. We stop there. And... I lift that one up like that and then I go F to put that one out and we drive over this one over here like this you're moving too fast you know it doesn't actually matter because I'm not in the crop I'm not sure if that one's over far enough you do have to be careful with this we don't want to be wasting our crops so we can look at that going into the trailer beautiful beautifully done 73% on three I think we're gonna try and cut it back just a little bit for the very last one so we come back this way and then we'll start heading forward. Uh, I need to press R to lower it down. There we go. We're into the crop again. So we're going to do one more pass like this. And then um, we're, we're ready to take our first load. And we're just going to go up there and sell it. We're not going to be driving miles and miles off to the windmill. Because it's just going to take way too long. This field is big enough as it is. I'm starting to regret my decision for buying this field. Because it's so big. But we do have all the straw. The straw is what is going to make this. The straw is going to make it... Um, what, what, what am I doing? I, I, I don't want to press that one. Uh, and and I, I want to press that one like that. And then that one. And then that one. That's what I, I wanted to press T. And somehow I managed to press R and E at the same time. I'm not quite sure how I managed to do that. Um, probably because I'm very special. I can do things like this. Um, hmm. I estimate another five... I was going to say five trailer loads. But you know what I'm actually thinking? And it won't be five trailer loads. It's going to be less than five trailer loads. Now, we're a thousand dollars, a thousand euros per trailer load is what we're missing out on, essentially, because of the, the, the distance. So by saving all this time, how much money is it going to cost us? And I reckon, looking at this field, that it's going to be, after this load, it's going to be four more trailer loads. That's what we're going to end up with, is another four. So roughly another four thousand i mean it's actually going to be less than four it's less than a thousand per load so we're looking at i would say about five uh, well we've got this load as well so we're, we're looking at about four thousand five hundred pounds that we're going to be losing out by not taking it all the way down to the mill and considering the time that it would take to drive all the way to the mill compared to here I would say that is actually worth it. That the, the money to time ratio is actually, I think, good value. So let's just stop right there. And we'll bring that one on round over here. Uh, I want to lift that one up. No, there, like that, and then there. Let's see how much we end up wasting. So we, we've got this one over here. I'm going to bring that one up a little bit further, and we'll stop right over the trailer like that. So we've got 3,080 on there. 1100 on board so if i just press f like that 3960 i'm just gonna tap it like this i'm gonna tap it through um despite the fact that i am now drifting way off so 419 we we're gonna lose 35 kilos yeah we've just lost 35 kilos i probably should have kept those on board um that was just me being stubborn because I, I wanted to finish it i wanted to i wanted to actually see um exactly how much it was so we've yeah 4200 that's actually 800 it is slightly more than 800 about 850 because of the um uh yeah there, it was it's 216 i think so it's about 850 roughly that we're losing per load so if we got five loads on 850 that is roughly 4200 pounds at uh, pounds euros 4,200 pounds that is going to cost us by taking it here and tipping it instead of all the way down to the mill. I would say that is actually reasonable value for money. Now, if we had fields close to the mill, obviously de we'd definitely be one of taking it to the mill. And I think the barley we want to run down there anyway, just because it's it's worth a lot more. Um, do, uh, do I want to go that way? No. I think I want to go that way and I don't. Let's go on around this way. No, no, no! No, stop, stop. Oh, 
<laughs> I meant to press T for the auto run and I accidentally pressed R and it's dumped all my grain onto the floor and I've wasted it. All that work and I've only got 1,600 kilos of... Oh. Oh, that was so stupid. I can't believe I did. Well, actually, I can believe I just did it because I am that, that stupid. I really am that daft. I'm, I'm I genuinely annoyed at myself with that. I pressed the wrong button. You know what? I'm going to rebind those keys. I'm going to rebind the key a minute so that R, instead of raised trailer, R, because we're going to put it over onto I. I think that's it's just going to be easier all round. I uh, switched over to I for tipping up the trailer so that I don't accidentally do that again because that that was heartbreaking. Um, to empty the combine though is different because you just it's literally just raise. So we've also got to remember that now raising the, and lowering the combine header is now been mapped to I instead of R, which is um, yeah. But so we we can we we'll just lift this one up like this as we go along and yeah that's that's going to be fine. We don't mind that. Um, I am genuinely gutted that I, I just dumped two-thirds of the trailer onto the floor. That really wasn't the brightest move I've yet had, was it? That 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 was um that that was proper special time. That was special time with Frithgar. Right. We'll dump you right there. Stop moving. And let's go with the combining again. It's starting to get late. It is actually starting to get late. So let's start this bad boy back up again. We want to press Z to start it up. And then this time it's I to lower it down. But we've still got this. So now if I press R, nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. So I can never accidentally dump the trailer load of grain on the floor ever again. In theory. It's nearly 5 o'clock. So we'll be able to finish harvesting this field, I should think. But then once we've done that, we're going to have to head on home and get some sleep. And then we can come back here in the morning and do all the bailing and gathering it all up. Um, we do have... I mean, it's not that far to drive, I suppose. We can, we'll can we be able to run the combine. Although I'm just going to park the combine near the edge of the field for now. Because we may yet buy that field of lupine. And if we do, we're going to be... Um, it's over there. It's just over there. So we'll be selling that direct to the mill here as well. Which would then give us uh, plenty of cash. So... I don't know what the what kind of yield we'd expect off of that. Now, we did find that with the canola versus the wheat, they actually ended up giving us about the same amount of yield. So, with that in mind, did why did it... Oh, warning. It, it did come up with a warning. It just didn't come up with a noise to say that you are overfilling. So, yeah, I, I did lose a little bit. But considering how much I've already lost so far this um, episode, it probably doesn't matter too much. Let's bring that one up there, and then this one, to unload this one, is still V. So we put that in there, 20%, there we go, 1,200 kilos, and then we can press F to close that one back down, and I can go whizzing back up across the field. Oh, for those of you who were asking, um, at the moment we still don't know anything new about the whole issue with their um, the, the, the legal challenge that they've had against this game. Uh, don't know anything at all, however... We believe that the 6th or 7th of February is kind of the deadline for anything to happen. So we're hoping that sometime during the next week we'll be able to find out a little bit more. And I say we as in like the collective community. From what I've seen on the Facebook page and on Steam and so on, um, it kind of looks like that's what's going to be happening. So we, we will keep a close eye on it. Um, and also... I was reading... I really shouldn't read the Steam forums too much. Oop, I'm overfilling. Hang on. Uh, I, I, I want to right-click. That's what I want. Oh, 96%. I may... I may be able to get right to the end of the row. Can I do it? I can. I got right to the end of the row. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I, I do like to read on the Steam forums sometimes, but I really should be... I, I, I guess I shouldn't read them too much because there's always going to be people on the Steam forums complaining about Steam. It's, it's a big platform, so there's always going to be people. You get you get a big platform, and you'll always get people who complain about them, um, and they go right to that platform and they and and spend their time complaining about the platform that they're on and they're using, um, but like really, really nastily complaining. And yeah, I, I I don't get that. But anyway. Um, one of the complaints seems to be that there are people who think that this company have made this game and they've not actually... The reason it's been removed from Steam has got nothing to do with a legal challenge. It's that they're now abandoning the game, taking our money and running. 
we've just had another update. So for anybody that thinks that this is a possibility, I would say it's highly unlikely. Top lits do seem to be pretty good. From what I can see, um, they seem to be a fairly reputable company. We will, we, we'll, we'll wait and see though. We, we've got another week and then we should find something out. So I will keep you updated. And obviously, if it looks like the game is going to be, if the plug is going to be pulled on the game, obviously that is going to be disappointing. We're going to have to go and find something else. Um, there are, there is another game coming out fairly soon. And it does look a bit like Pure Farming 2018. Now, to be honest, it does look a little like this. So there is strongly suspected that they are actually the ones that have um, issued this challenge, that the people behind Pure Farming, because I think it was one of the older versions of Pure Farming, um, that, that does have some of the artwork that looks similar to this one. Whether they're behind this or not, nobody knows. It's, it's nothing to do with us at the moment. We will find out all in good time whether or not anything has um, sort of gone on in the background. But their new game that they're bringing out does look reasonably interesting. It's got various different countries that you can go to. It's got various different modes and different things that you can do in the game. And I'm kind of looking forward to that one coming out. So if for whatever reason we are unable to play this game ever again then we will definitely go we'll probably go and start taking a look at the pure farming game instead because that one quite frankly does look really really good and i think we could enjoy our time playing it right we're gonna bring this one over here so we've got two loads in here now we're on 56 percent now it's 4200 kilos to fill this one up so i can just press v and i can unload that one there and that takes us up to 3590 we've got one more part load that we want to put into that trailer now it's starting to get late now the sun is starting to disappear so what i'm thinking is we might just do this one load then go back home get some sleep and then come back out here in the morning and finish off the combining and then we can also do the baling and although i was thinking it maybe i could just leave the grain trailer out here and then we could do um yeah, bring out another yeah, bring out the baler as well but that means then we've got a lot of running backwards and forwards to do later on so I, I don't know about that we might just sort of hop straight over to the pickup truck apparently the pickup truck has had its speed reduced as well now we got I, I was just thinking you know we've got these delivery quests that where we can get for people and then they've gone to reduce the speed of the pickup truck so it might not be quite as easy as it was and i felt that the speed of the pickup truck was pretty good i quite like that one so i'm a little bit disappointed to find out that they've now reduced it I'm guessing it's to sort of encourage us to upgrade and buy the new van with the crane and everything on it. It would kind of make sense, I suppose. There we go. We've almost got a full harvester. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fit it right up to the very brim, just because I can. Right, there we go. Right up to the very brim. And now we can bring this one on round. So if I press Z, that switches it off. And then I want to press I to lift it up. F to put that one on. Yes, we're definitely going to go and get some sleep because it's starting to get quite dark now. So what we're going to have to do is very carefully empty out this trailer. Uh, empty out the combine into the trailer so that we don't overfill. I don't want to overfill. So 4,160 there, 4,200. I think I did that reasonably. We've got 570 still in the combine. So we're going to jump off the combine. We're going to go down here and we're going to jump into the jack there. And we're going to take this one. This time, we are not going to dump all of this onto the floor at the, the the grain storage place because you know you, you just just because it sounded it, just because it was fun last time am i seriously <laughs> okay you can get stuck on those little trees i didn't think that i could get stuck on those i thought i would just go through them like that little bush right there but apparently you can't do that yeah see i just then accidentally pressed r instead of t so i would have dumped my grain on the floor but i didn't do it because i wisely changed the key binding I, had, I strongly urge anybody playing this game, especially if you're used to playing Farming Simulator, to at least change the key binding for tipping the trailer from R to I. It, it's going to make it easier because the cruise can... I, I did this last time. I went to go in here last time and I, and I managed to avoid it. This time, however, I wasn't quite so smart. Um, I've got to try and get out of here. If I can turn... Can I turn? Turn. There, now turn sharp that way. Oh. I can get I can get round here. There we go. Yeah, see, I, I, I should have turned this way. I they deliberately did that to make it difficult, didn't they? You you know what they did. They they're now gonna be watching people play this game 
And they're going to see them do that, and every single time they're going to have a little chuckle to themselves. There's one person back in the studio for Toplitz, and he's going to be watching this on the, people, different people's videos, and he's going, ha, 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 I did that. That was me. I did that. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Cheers. I, I really appreciate it. Now then, we've got this one load tipped out, and this time we actually made some money. So we've now got 6,000 euros Lovely, lovely moolah. We're going to go on through. The wheat actually doesn't... It's not going to give us a load of money. I mean, we would have had another 800 more. At the moment, we've... Oh, I can't actually see it. You've got to press tab to see it. So, uh, yeah, we'd have had 6,800. Um, probably 6,900 by this point. And, you know, that would have been great and all. But we'd have had to go so much further in order to get it. I just don't think it's worth it. So, I would... This is why I want the bigger tractor. And... And, you know, this is where I find out that actually the bigger tractor is not worth it because the bigger tractor only does 25k. I'm hoping it's a bit more than that, though. I really, really am. I am going to be gutted if, if that big tractor only does 25k. I am going to be absolutely gutted. I can assure you. Right, let's just stop there like that. And I will turn the lights. 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 Oh, you, you got to press them twice. Right. We'll come off of that tractor like that. And, oh, there we go. Right, now, map. If I use the map, and then I come over here like this, I can jump into old machine, car, old pickup, enter. That's the one that we want. Right, now I want to get out. Um, chucks me back over to the side, doesn't it? Okay, now, I was talking about getting some cows. We are going to look at that, but we're not going to get them today. We're going to go and have some sleep, and then we can, well, we'll, we'll get our eggs from the chickens. Actually, I want to go and see how much I can't remember now how much the um the eggs are worth. Might be it might be worth us. We also need to check the greenhouse as well because we haven't checked the greenhouse for a little while. So let's get some sleep, a little bit of snooze. We'll go and look at the greenhouse, and we've got to get our eggs as well. So we eggs plus sleep plus one hundred, egg plus ten plus ten plus ten plus ten. Why is there lots of plus ten eggs there? Is that just eggs? It's not eggs here, is it? Oh, no, that's that's um, my condition and food and stuff, what it's been doing over time. So you've got basically a backlog there. So let's just come out here and we'll close that one. Uh, where do we go for? Let's go, right, let's go to the chickens first and we'll gather our eggs. Take a look in here. We'll also go and have a look in the barn and see if we can fire it. There's a couple and there's a couple more. There's some more in there. And some more up there. Right, now we come on round to this side. What do we got? Lots of eggs here. So we've got some there and in that box and in that box there. We've got two more. You and you've got three. And there's two there. I can't believe these just... We're getting 20 eggs a day from these chickens. At least 20. Right. And uh, we want to go and check a greenhouse. Now, I was wondering if I should just run up the road and see if we can sell a couple of eggs and see how much we get for them. I'm not sure how much they're worth, though. We'll, we'll probably go and take a look at that. So let's do, take a look in here. How are we doing? How are we doing, my beauties? Uh, it's not actually... Say, I don't know if we're supposed to be watering these or not. I don't think we are. I don't think you're supposed to do it. I think you just plant them and then and then they grow. So we don't actually need to worry about them. And so let's climb on out through there and then close that one. Um, you know, I'm not going to worry about eggs right now. I'm going to go... Straight back to work. We've got this combining to finish, so we'll go up over here. That field there is the one that I'm considering buying. Go back here, grain harvester. And if I just empty out the rest of that a minute, that is giving me 570 kilos of wheat on board that trailer. Uh, F. There we go. Let's come on around this way. And... I can press Z to start it up, and then i got to press I to lower it down. And we are away. Press T. There we go. That's it. Beautiful. We're straight back into it. Nice early start. Cruising up and down the field. We should get this finished in next to no time. I'm actually running out of time for the episode. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, we're, we're, yeah, well, we can at least finish this. And then we can get the baler up here. So that we can get ready to start the baling for next episode. Now, baling should be a bit quicker than combining. I'm really hoping that they do add in a automated way of doing some of the tasks. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to necessarily have to be the combining, but, you know, like the plowing. If we can just tell a worker to go and plow the field, 
that would be that that would just be wonderful that that would genuinely genuinely be awesome because that's the one thing that i like about farming simulator above all else is that i can send somebody out to go and do the work and i don't have to worry about it because then i don't have to sit doing the plowing manually myself for hours and hours and hours because quite frankly that is a, a rather dull way to spend an afternoon Oh, we'll drag this one over here and unload the first load. Not quite full, it's 99%, but I figured that would probably be okay. Uh, v. We press V, unload that one. We can dump all of that straight into there. Excellent. Right, let's carry on again. Get our next load. And it's not going... I don't think it's going to take very long to finish this at all. I think we are going to be through this in no time. Yeah, you can see the narrowing strip that we've got here. I think that this is going to... We'll fill this trailer that we've got here now and then i think it'll be one more part load after that and that'll be it for the combining we will all be done so once this gets up to like 96 97 percent there we go swing it out round like that and 98 percent that's filled, finished that so we just put the um the thingy out like that store harvested grains yeah i don't need to store harvested grains i'm selling them direct and making an absolute mediocre amount of money absolute mediocre right we got that one there so now i can press v and i can unload into there so i need to get one more lot so actually what do i get i get like 1200 i think that's going to be one more full tank is going to be it and then and then we can we, we've got one more load so yeah just one more full tank to do here so let's bring that one on up there we go there we go right uh t t is the one that i it's a magic button that i need to press we get on up here and i've just been going round and round on this one now i just come out the top and then whiz over the top over here and then down on this side well as i say i've been going i, I did it once I, I, I did it once and it seemed to work so we'll do it again um um yeah that's uh possibly the creepiest thing i have seen ever what is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with you, man? Um, I, I don't really know what's happened to him, but I don't like it. It's, uh, that is, that is, got, that is very, very, oh, yeah, um, what is wrong with your eyes? Seriously, dude, uh, right, let's, let's not look at him again. That is, that is, oh, I'm, I'm going way too fast. That is uh, possibly one of the freakiest things I have ever seen. So we're, we're, ne we're never going to look at him again. And we're, ju we're just going to assume that there is nothing wrong with him. And it was just that he had his eyes closed against the glare of the sun. And we're, we're just going to leave it at that. We're, we're, not going we're not even going to mention it. We're not going to think about it. We're not going to think about those horrid, disgusting, haunted, hollow eyes in his face. No, let's stop. Um, this is this is not a horror game. This is supposed to be a gentle, relaxing farming game. No horror. No no horror at all. No no horror. We're, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not going down that road. Let's whiz that one out through there, and we have got the next load. So let's just bring that one round. We can lift that one, and I can open that one out. Now, in theory, we should be able to put all 1,192 kilos straight into this trailer, and it should be about a trailer full. We won't be far off. There we go. See, it's 40 kilos off of a full trailer. That's not bad going. So let me just close that one down. I reckon another two, maybe three combine fulls, which is going to be a trailer. It's not going to be any more than that. Hmm. Two, two and a bit. I, I say two and a bit. That's, that's my theory. That's, that's my guess. So let's go over here. We can run this one back up to the sell point and we can sell this. And then we are going to be able to start our baling. I'm looking forward to starting the baling. We're going to get a load of bales out of this field. The only downside is that we do have to pick all the bales up by hand. Um, there is that to it. And I, I, I think I may not quite have thought this through properly when I enthusiastically went and bought the biggest field that I could find. Now, you will note that this time I have also remembered that we need to follow the yellow brick road. Well, the, the, the red brick road, but um, you, you get the idea. We didn't go the wrong way. We went the right way. So, ha, 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 Mr. Developer, sir, who went and did that deliberately to confuse everybody. And, yeah, you know he did. You, you know I'm right here, don't you? you? You know it. You absolutely know it. Because, let's, let's, let's be honest. If I was going to design a game, I'd probably do something like that, too. Would you? How could you, Frith? I hear you all say. 
uh, because I'm, yeah, I, you, you should know by now, you've watched my videos long enough to realise that yes, I probably would do something like that. It would be funny, it would be hilarious, you could watch people go in there, get stuck, and then have to slowly, slowly work their way out again, and it would be glorious. Now, how much did we get then? We had about six grand, so we got, we get about 1,500 per load instead of 2,000... Uh, well, if it's eight, if it's no, it's five hundred per load. So yeah, it would be it would be just over two thousand per load, and at the moment we're getting about fifteen hundred, not uh, just just under fifteen hundred, I think. So yeah, it's you you're not going to make a fortune from wheat, I don't think. But the, the the money comes from the bales, unless they've unless they've gone and altered the price of the bales. This is where we're going to get our money from. I'll leave that one there, and I'll come racing up over here jump onto this one and now we need to press Z to start it and I to lower it down and then we're away right so we've just got two passes around and I think that's going to that's going to deal with the bulk of it we'll have a little bit up here that we're going to have to do and then there's going to be a little bit down the other end that we're going to have to do as well and that will be the last of it so yeah there's a little strip in the middle where we're going to sort of touch through on the next pass and then it's just that top bit and the bottom bit. And, and we're done. And we're done. Everything will be done. And then we can go and get the baler. It's not going to take all that long to get the baler, I don't think. We can also seriously consider running a load of canola from down at the farm up and selling as well. But it's the social points. That's going to be the bit. Because, you know, the, the tractor is like 90 grand or it's 45,000 and 90,000 social points. So I'm thinking that really we want to be going for that first i mean we could go and get milk and we can sell milk milk does get us some money i'm not quite sure how much money we get from milk but it's it's definitely in is it, it is definitely worth getting it so that we can get some cash for it let's just come up here we're on a 66 percent i'm just wondering if i'm going to get all of it in i'm going to risk it i'm going to see if i can get all this last little bit into the combine before it, i don't think i will now now that i've gone past and i've committed now I think I'm going to fail. Fail miserably. One up through there. We got 85%. Actually, you know, we might. We might just do this. We might be able to get that last little strip into the combine before we got to stop. Can we do this? It's on 88%. 1,000. 1,100. Yeah, no worries. I never doubted it for a moment. We can easily get this. So we're very easily going to unload this as well. So, in actual fact, we've taken, well, we dumped one load on the ground, and then we had two full loads. So, we've kind of, I mean, even if we said that we dumped a load on the ground down the other end, it, you know, we would still sort of lose a bit. Which one am I wanting to press? Uh, v. That's what I need to do. Like that. Put all that in there. Um, yeah, so, really, I think, if you, th if you think about this, we've lost uh, 16... Probably 1,700 and then with this, so about 2,000. We've lost about 2,000 euros by not going down to the windmill and dumping it here. But we've also saved ourselves a huge amount of time. Because quite frankly, it would have easily been double the amount of time that we spent on this if we had run all the way down to the windmill. And I don't think we can afford that kind of time. I, I really can't. I really don't. I Personally, I can't afford that kind of time. We, we can't be spending that amount of time. You, when we've got bales that we can make and we can make a fortune from all of these bales, we definitely don't want to be wasting a load of cash doing stuff like that. So we'll just come down here. We'll get this one bit in there. we got one more pass, and then that is it. Job done. We have finished. We have combined our field. So let me just go up there like that. Oop, careful. Go on. Go, 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 go. Last little bit. And how much have we ended up with? There's only, see, there's only a couple hundred kilos in there. It's hardly worth bothering with. I'm actually thinking that maybe we should take this last little load. Uh, right, what do we want? We're going to do that. And then I want to press I to raise it up, F. Yeah, I'm actually thinking we should take the last little load that's in the trailer. And we should run that back to the yard. And we'll um, empty it in the yard. Because then we can always get the big trailer with the big tractor later on. And we can sell it like that. Uh, which I'm, I'm, That's the button I need to press. So that would be another 1,500 kilos of wheat to go into our main store um, on top of the wheat that we've already got. And we haven't actually sold any of our wheat from the main yard. So we're just going to park this combine over here. We're going to leave that one right there like that. Lower it down. There. Job done. Right. 
We'll run this one back to the yard. Unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. So in tomorrow's episode, we will be starting our bailing. And I'm hoping that we can bail the field reasonably quickly so that we can then move straight on to doing the um, gathering of the bales as well. I would like to gather all the bales up and get them up there to the, the cell point, which is right next to this field. That is the glorious thing about this field. The cell point is right next to it. So it's going to be really quick and really easy to be able to sell the bales. It's just a question of picking them up off the floor and throwing them on the trailer, really. So if we can do that really, really quickly, we will then be able to make our fortune. And we'll also, before we come up with the bale trailer, we'll load up the few bales that we got back at the yard and we'll bring those up and sell them as well. But if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Yeah, I just thought I'd actually like you to just see how much grain we've got stored down here. So we're going to come running down here. And yes, I am cutting across the grass again. I do this a lot. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for cutting across the grass. So you know what? Let's just go for it. I am also going to take a quick look in that shed. And we're going to see if there is anything in there. So we want to come over here and... Right. Uh... Stop right there. Stop. Now we... Yes, I did definitely tip it in here, didn't I? Um, 7,400 kilos a week. Capacity of 50,000. Wow. Okay, that's that's actually quite impressive. So we'll dump that in there. So we've now got 8,900 in there. And we'll come in here. It's the baler that we're going to want to take. So we can drop this trailer off just here somewhere. And we can switch over to the baler. Uh, so let's just go there, unhitch you, stop right there, out, 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 right. Um, nope, nope, there. Now then, I do want to have a look up here and see if there's still a chest up here. They've said that they've moved the location to the chest. Nope, there is a chest here, and we can open it. We can now interact with this chest, and we have got, we've got some fishy tomato sauce. Move to inventory. And we've got condensed milk times two, so we'll move both of those. And we've also got a silver ring expensive item. Perfect gift for a woman. Okay. So we're, we're going to leave that. And with, there was another chest up in the attic. I want to see that now. We're going to go up into the attic and we're going to see if there's anything up there. And then we're going to go and we're going to see if we can sell this ring. Because right now we want money rather than anything else. So oop, no, I want to come over this way. So there was that chest up there that we had up here. So we want to open that one and activate. And then we can go up here. Is the chest? Yes, there is another chest up here, and this one has got a golden ring. Fantastic! Plus, we've also got these items here. Uh, let's let's grab all of those. So we've got fish in aroma oil, forty-five, and then we've got two fish in tomato sauce that's plus thirty-five. That's forty, and then condensed milk is forty-five. These two rings. I want to now go to the, the the bloke up the road, and I want to see if he will buy the rings from me before we go. I tell you what. Let's just save the game a second. And we can run over here. We can see what this guy has got. And finally, I will then actually go. And, and I did start to go a little while ago, but yeah. Talk Good to, to John. see you. Can I help you? Apparently, John has some different things now. Care to trade? Care to trade? His eyes have come sure. back. What do you need? Our eyes. We've got our eyes back. Apparently, he does get some random items turning up now every now and then. So that is 300 euros for that one, 180 euros for that one. If I... 200? He'll give me 120 for that silver ring. Sell. And he'll give me 200 for that one right there. So I'm going to sell that as well. So we've just got 380 euros, which isn't bad. Um, oh, yeah, they're 40 per... The, 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 not even a whole euro. Um, oh, you, you go on the slider here, don't you? Right. So if we go... Let's sell 30 eggs. That's 12 euros. That's not bad. Um, we want cows. Cow, we, before we start with the baling, we will be, we'll get some cows tomorrow. And then, yeah, so before, before we go running up the baler, we will go and get cows. And then we can um, get them in there and we can start getting milk to sell as well, I think. I think that would be an excellent idea. But anyway, that really is all i got time for. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.